We are Lidrotech, and we build a laser system that cuts microchips more efficiently than it has ever been done before. Our laser system is literally cutting edge. The current problem in cutting microchips is that up to 10% of them are damaged in the cutting process. Microchips are produced on wafers such as this one, and you can fit hundreds of thousands of chips on such a wafer. If up to 10% of them are damaged during the cutting process, one of the last steps before the chips are put into the digital products, that is a big problem. For a company with 10 billion euros in revenues, this is a problem of 200 million euros. If this company switched to our technology, we could save these 200 million euros because our technology does not destroy a single chip. On top of that, our technology cuts thinner than any other technology, so you can stack more chips closer to each other on these wafers. This adds an additional 60 million euros in productivity. So to summarize, we can save 260 million euros in costs or increase the gross margin by two and a half percentage points. The reason for such a high waste at the moment is that the current technologies have reached their physical limitations. And our technology solves a lot of problems. There are no cracks, there are no heating damages and no particles that fall back on the surface. And you don't need to be an engineer to see that the pictures on the right look way better than the pictures on the left. And the reason for that is that we use lasers in combination with liquids to cool and rinse the material while we cut the microchips. We have file patents on our technology and we will continue to do so on a continuous basis. With the sale of machines and the sale of liquids, this is what our business model is based on. The first machine will be sold in 2023, break-even will be reached in 2024, and by 2025, we will sell 10 machines. Each machine will be sold for 1.5 million euros. And then for each machine that has been sold, we will sell the liquids that are needed to run the machine on a yearly recurring basis for 200,000 euros. So after seven and a half years, we will have made the same amount of revenues with the sale of liquids as we've done with a one-time sale of the machine. The market for machines to cut microchips, the so-called wafer dicing market, will grow to 12 billion euros by 2030. Europe and the US make up 7 billion of this. And if we take 10% as our serviceable obtainable market, which is ambitious, but possible, that will give us a market of 700 million euros. We already have traction to get there. We have raised 1.2 million euros in 2019. We've built the first lab prototype with that, with which we can now work on client jobs. And we've done so and got our first revenues this year. And in the meantime, we've also won a few competitions. The next steps are on the one hand to increase the, the efficiency of our technology, hence to make it even faster than it already is. Then to build the first pro beta machine that will be tested in a client lab and to sell that machine in 2023. And to achieve our goals, we're looking for seed financing of 3 million euros in May 2022, which will be used to build the beta machine and to fuel our growth in, growth in terms of new employees, sales, and marketing. The team behind Lidrotech is a team of four founders that are all fully committed to this company. I'm Alex, and I'm the CEO, and I have five years of work experience in the financial industry. Alexander Karnitz is our Chief Innovation Officer, and he's responsible for R&D and sales. Jan is our CTO, responsible for technology, software, and IT. And Janis is our COO, responsible for operations and fluidics. Together, our three engineers have over 20 years of experience in laser processing in liquids. And this is one of our biggest advantages. We are Lidrotech. And our laser technology is literally cutting edge.